Hi, I'm Karen with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin for Cricut Help Desk on Facebook. Today I'm going to show you how to create a text offset or shadow using Inkscape and then bring it into Cricut Design Space. Inkscape is a free program that you can download online. Let's go ahead and get started. Once you download Inkscape, go ahead and select your text tool on the left, click onto your canvas, and write your message. Go ahead and highlight the letters and select the font of your choosing. I'm going to use a gentle touch that I've previously downloaded and installed on my computer. Now go ahead and choose your select tool at the top left and let's make this larger. Now go to path and select object to path, then object and ungroup, back to path, select union, this is much like weld in Cricut Design Space, and then path and linked offset. Before we create the offset, we want to turn off snapping so that you'll be able to make it any size you would like. To do that, over on the top right, you will just unselect that first icon that is darker gray. You can come back to your design. Look for the diamond around the outside of your design. Mine is above the H. I will click on it, hold my mouse down, and drag away from the letters. You can make it as large or small as you would like. Now at some point, you may find a place that no matter which direction you go in or out, you have gaps that you may not want. I'll show you how to remove those. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this design as well so it's easier to see. To remove the gap, such as inside of the O, you'll need to go to your node tool, which is over on the left. To remove the gap, such as inside the O, we'll need to do a few more steps. Go ahead and click your select tool over on the top left and then go to path and object to path. Now select your node tool over on the left. These little points that show up are nodes. We need to remove those. You can simply drag your mouse over them to select them and hit backspace on your keyboard. It looks like there may be little nodes by the L's that I'm going to remove as well. If you leave those, they're going to create cuts in your design. So we're going to get rid of them so you do not have any extra cuts. Go ahead and go back to your select tool and then file, save as. By default it will save it as an SVG. So go ahead and select a name for it and save it in a location that you'll be able to find. Next you can go to Cricut Design Space Go to your project or a new canvas and upload it as an SVG. Save your SVG, insert it onto your canvas, and there you've created text with an offset or shadow. You can always ungroup these, change the colors as needed, and click make it to begin sending it to your Cricut for cutting. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Facebook at Cricut Help Desk or at CK Customs PA. Happy crafting!